Hey guys, welcome back to another NCurses tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be explaining how to detect control plus key combinations. So for instance, you know, control A, control P, those kinds of key combinations. I'm just showing you guys how to detect those in NCurses. And I'll also talk a little bit about some other modifier key combinations such as shift character or alt character. Specifically I'll talk about how alt character is tricky. But the majority of this tutorial is going to be how to detect control plus key command or characters. So to start off, I've just created a simple 17 line program. Um, what this program will do is it'll wait for a character from the user and then it will print out some information about the character, which I'll demonstrate in a second what's really going on here. Um, technically, this is bad practice because this will run until forever. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to write the code like this. So um, if we make and then run this program you'll see that um, if we press A for instance what this code will do is it'll print out the character name um, which is what this key name function does. Key name is a ncurses function that prints out the uh, the name or the it's the string value the character representation of the, the char that we pass it. Uh, then we're also printing out the hexadecimal value of that char. Um, so we're getting A and then 0x61. So now if we, for instance, if we press capital A, we get a different value, we get 0x41. Um, so what the, the question here would be what happens when we do control plus character. So if we do control A, for instance, we get, for the representation, we get this up arrow. Forget what it's called, it has a name. I'm just going to call it the up arrow. Um, we get this up arrow and then a capital letter version of the value. So even if, if I do control A without a shift, I get control A. If I do control shift A, I get the same value no matter what. Um, and for the, uh, the number here, we get 0, 1 as opposed to 41 for just regular capital A. So um, this basically indicates to me that what's happening is we have a different range of values to represent control plus character um, and it's basically starts at zero zero and then moves up from there so a the first letter in the alphabet is zero one b if we do control b we get zero two c is zero three. Oh, <laughs> that's my bad there are a couple of character combinations that are special such as control c and i believe control z are special uh, those two are special commands that you shouldn't uh, detect, try to detect because most applications have a special meaning for those. Control C specifically breaks or you know cancels the program. Um, but if we do any other key combination, for instance, Control D, you get number four because it's the fourth letter in the alphabet and it's the control combination. So the actual math behind this. So if you wanted to take a character and check for a control character, you would say ch and and that with zero x one f the hexadecimal 0x1f. So this would give us the key combination character plus control character. Um, so for instance if we did if uh, ch equals f and it with um, 0x1f this would check if um, we have pressed the control F key. So we'll do a move print W, we'll do zero, zero, um, and we'll just say detected control plus F. Exclamation point there. Um, and just just so you know, this, this F here and this F here have no correlation. In fact, I'll change that to A, just so it's less confusing. Um, so now if we run this uh, program, so we'll do a make and run, um, and if we do control D, it'll just say control D, but if we do control A, it'll tell us detected control A, and that's because this uh, here is the same as protecting control, or same as pressing control A. Sorry, I can't talk tonight. Um, so in order to make this a little simpler, we could go to the top of our function and write a little uh, uh, preprocessor command define thing with uh, control X. So what this will do is it'll it's creating a quote unquote you know preprocessor function. Um, oops. Oh, 
happen there. Control X. And then anytime we detect Control X in our code, we want to replace it with X and 0x, uh, 1f. So what this will do now is if we, we can replace our little code down here with control um, and then whatever character we want and it'll produce the same exact result as before so if we do control A we'll say detected control A if we do any other character it doesn't say anything because we're not looking for those those characters essentially um, now a uh, little just like side note is that this could be a capital letter too it'll detect the same exact key no matter what so if we run this program now control A no matter what it detects control A uh, right regardless if it's uppercase or lowercase um, so that's how you detect a control character press um, and now let me get a little bit into how you detect other kinds of characters so um, one other kind of modifier I can think of is doing you know shift plus something um, so shift shift is actually really simple the different you know the way you check whether you did shift plus a character or just the character is by doing you know char equals a or capital A it's that simple that's how you detect whether you did shift a or a um, there's really no way to do control shift um, a within the command line because I showed you that it detects A, capital A, and lowercase a the same. So there's no way to really distinguish control shift A versus control A, at least not that I know of. Um, then the last um, sort of key combination that I can think of is um, you know, alt plus A or alt plus G or whatever. Um, alt is actually really tricky. Um, a lot of terminals handle alt presses differently. I, I've personally found a way to get alt plus key working on my machine, my terminal, um, and I'll actually do a follow-up tutorial on that as well, but it's very tricky and I don't know if it'll work on everyone's machine, so that's just something to keep in mind. I would stick to key commands that involve control plus whatever instead of alt, um, and specifically control characters that avoid control C and control Z, which are special commands. Um, but anyways, that's my tutorial for today. I'm going to have another tutorial coming out soon about how to create sort of like a menu bar like you'd see on like a, a program like this creating like a file menu for one of our windows um, so that's I'll be using control plus characters to, to actually show that so that's why I wanted to sh have this tutorial beforehand so that'll make sense in the next tutorial and I won't have to explain it um, so anyways stay tuned for that um, I hope you liked this tutorial if you did Please like, comment, subscribe, um, and I hope you're having a good day. See you in the next tutorial.